It's been more than three decades since the Indiana Pacers had an opportunity to utilize a single-digit first-round draft pick, but that will likely change on Thursday. Indiana is slated to pick sixth in the 2022 NBA Draft, the highest selection the franchise has owned since 1988. It's a massive choice for the front office to make, nailing the pick could push the Pacers back into the playoffs in the future, while whiffing the pick could send the franchise to the NBA's basement for at least a few more seasons. From the outside, the sixth overall pick would seem to contain a lot of pressure for decision makers, but internally that isn't the case. Pacers Vice President of Player Personnel Ryan Carr is ready to help the front office make the best choice possible. I don't, Carr said when asked if he feels pressure in the draft this year. Our staff of scouts work hard no matter what pick we've had. We've had drafts where we didn't have any picks, and we still work hard because you never know what's going to happen. And whoever you pick, you want to succeed. So I think the pressure we put on ourselves is pretty consistent. And we always prepare to have the first pick, that's just part of what we do and how we prepare. Indiana is a diligent team ahead of the draft. Carr shared last summer that the front office ranks players 1 through about 80 on their board regardless of where the team is selecting in the draft. Having a clear picture of every prospect allows Pacers decision makers to feel prepared when draft day arrives. In a typical year, the front office runs through scenario after scenario to see who could be available when the blue and gold are on the clock. This year, that's an easier task since the franchise is picking higher than they have since 1988. Regardless, it's an important exercise, and completing it speaks to the Pacers' preparedness. These processes helped guide Indiana to a successful draft in 2021, they walked away with all-rookie second-team member Chris Duarte, as well as promising big man Isaiah Jackson. Those procedures now have more intensity thanks to the importance of this draft for Indiana. Carr has been with the Pacers for nearly two decades and has seen many drafts, some successful and some not. He stated that the front office and scouting department try to improve every year. The process is largely the same every year. Every year we review it, we add stuff to it, we try to get better at it. I think the caliber of player is a higher talent, but I don't think it affects the process in terms of evaluation and all the different things that go into making a decision on a player," Carr explained this week. That's why the team brought in over 50 prospects for in-person evaluations during this pre-draft process, they want as much information as possible to nail the most important draft they've had in decades.